Well, good Tuesday afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. It is Tuesday afternoon, Taco Tuesday, and I hope all your taco dreams are coming true. And um, this is not necessarily anything to do with the Cowboys, but, you know, everything always has something to do with the Dallas Cowboys. Um, For the Eagles, you know, the Eagles have a lot of draft picks. They have a lot of draft capital this year and next year and things. They're a young team. You've got Jalen Hurts, a guy that you want to build around and things. And it's, um, you know, you you figure they want to have as many weapons as possible. And we are hearing that there are teams that are calling the Eagles because they want to draft for Jalen Rhaegar. Hmm. Which is interesting because, you know, first-round pick for the Eagles has not been as advertised. This is the thing that's interesting with the Eagles, that they don't seem to have good luck at drafting wide receivers early. Um, you think about Charlie Dakota Whiteside that they drafted the year before Regular, excuse me, Regar. That's what Philly 500 calls him, Regular. Um, second round pick, never really busted a grape for him. The interesting thing for the Eagles is the very next pick was DJ Metcalf. Ouch. And, of course, there was, well, you know what, I'll, I'll, let, let's go through, because with the Regar pick, okay, Philly 500 was actually happy about them getting him, although he wanted somebody else. Let's recap Philly 500. The first round is done. It is done. And I went through so many different emotions <laughs> in this in this draft, okay? It started out, you know, you're very excited. And then you see, like, things are kind of working out in your favor. You're, you're like... No receivers have gone off the board, and we're picking at 12. Or we're, the Raiders are picking at 12. And you think, okay, maybe somebody's going to go off. And, of course, it's my man, Henry Ruggs. He goes off first. Well, I'm not surprised. You know how much I think of Henry Ruggs. And I know Mike Mayock is no dummy. So he takes Henry Ruggs, and it's like, okay, here comes the run on receivers. So then you have, uh, you know, 13, 14 No receivers go off the board. We're sitting at 15, and you have Jerry Judy, and you have uh, CeeDee Lamb, who is the best receiver, ranked the best receiver in the draft. All the Eagle fans wanted. We heard the reports that Howie was in love with CeeDee Lamb. And, 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 you know, I started getting, like, amped up. I started, like, going, like, all right, it's time to make a move. Time to make a move, you know. And, of course, Denver takes Jerry Judy, and then you feel the pressure because there's only – one one of those top three wide receivers left, and you want you want to get C.D. Lamb. At least I did. I'm like, look, of course I was. I talked a lot about him rugs. I want him rugs. But if we could get C.D. Lamb, you know, in the draft, if we could trade up and get him. It would be unbelievable. He's the best receiver in the draft. So the Rams. I mean, the Broncos take Jerry Judy. Then at 16, I believe who was it? it was was Atlanta? Atlanta's on the clock. And this is where you got to trade because Dallas Cowboys, they're sitting right behind you at 17. So you're thinking to yourself, all right, Dallas probably ain't going to take a receiver because they need help at corner. They need help with pass rush. They need a safety. They they have other, other positions that need help more than taking a wide receiver who would probably play in a slot because you got Gallup and you just paid Amari Cooper. You know, and so so I'm starting to go, but you never know with Dallas and that stinking evil emperor, Emperor Palpatine, that old 190-year-old man who just doesn't go away, okay? Because he's he's drinking all the adrenochrome of young kids or whatever he's doing. He just won't go anywhere. Jerry Jones, I'm talking about. So then what happens? The Eagles, they have a perfect opportunity at 16 to trade up trade up and get CeeDee Lamb. They only had to go five spots. Five five. spots. You probably could have gotten there for a fourth round pick. Okay? It wasn't that much. It shouldn't have cost you that much. But the Eagles didn't want him. 
The Eagles obviously did not want him. The reports that Harry Roseman was in love with him obviously could not have been true. They couldn't have been. Because at that situation, you have to jump on it. Okay? Jump on it. So me, you know, I'm starting to get like worked up because I'm like, oh, we're blowing this opportunity. So then Atlanta picks. They pick A.J. Terrell, somebody who I think they could have probably traded back to 21 and still got. But they draft him. And now the Dallas Cowboys are on the clock. And the Cowboys are on the clock. And you're thinking, nah, they won't take it. Now nah, I'm trying to tell myself, nah, they won't take him. They won't take him. <laughs> and boom, the Dallas Cowboys. And then let me say this. Before the pick is announced, they show a picture of Jerry Jones. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> like that evil, dirty man laugh. You know, like evil laugh. You could tell this dude sacrifices lots of chicken. He's got nine <laughs> Joe Boo dolls all around. And what does he do? He takes CeeDee Lamb. He takes CeeDee Lamb, and I lose it. I Let's go to the tape on that. I fire Howie. Fucking fire him. Motherfucker! <laughs> Stupid motherfucker! <laughs> Oh, oh. What an idiot. <laughs> what an idiot. Dallas has Amari Cooper and Gallup, but we don't need a receiver. Are you kidding me? I don't want Justin Jefferson. He's ass. <laughs> He's stupid. Ooh. I fire his ass. Oh. I fire his ass. I mean, how he's got to be stupid. What are you doing? You just let Dallas take him. You. Oh, little Philly, little Philly. Yeah, he was, he was definitely hurt about that. And, and truth be told, they're actually lucky, you know, with Henry Ruggs, that situation with the car accident and the, yeah, um, Looks like the Cowboys were the only one that got the good receiver there in the first round, other than, of course, Justin Jefferson. I lose it. I curse. I'm losing my mind. I apologize for cursing. I was pissed. I was pissed. Because to me, you know, the Cowboys got Maury Cooper. They got Gallup. You know, they don't need a receiver as, as much as us. Mm -hmm. But we just sit around and we're not training up. This is what I'm thinking at the time. And I'm thinking about Denver. Denver takes Jerry Judy. They got, they got Sutton. Corlin Sutton's good. Why are these guys getting receivers who already have better receivers than us? Oh, poor Philly. I was mad. I was pissed off. So then the draft continues, and I'm thinking, okay, here we go. The Eagles are taking Justin Jefferson. I'm for sure. This is going to be the pick. I know it. And this is not what I want because, um, you know, I have my questions about Justin Jefferson. I mean, a lot, you know, a lot of people say he can play outside. A lot of people say he can't. I don't really know. I've heard so many things so long. I have no idea. I just didn't want to take a chance on a guy that could possibly just be a slot wide receiver. So I didn't want, okay, and my thought process at that point at 21 while we're on the clock don't take Justin Jefferson, but I know that they're going to. Don't take him. And and please, tr let's trade back or take Denzel Mims. <laughs> that, that was what I would have done. Okay, At 21, if it was me at that point, I would have probably tried to trade back or take Denzel Mims. Okay? So the Eagles pick, and they wind up picking Jalen Rager. Now, when they picked Jalen Rager, I got to be honest, I was happy. I was happy because it wasn't Justin Jefferson. So I'm like, oh. They didn't take Justin Jefferson. Okay. All right. They took Rager. Now, I like Rager. I like Jalen Rager. I think he's going to be, I think he actually could be good. I think Jalen Rager is Howie Roseman's best shot at hitting on a wide receiver. Because God knows <laughs> he doesn't hit on wide receivers. Oh, this is his best shot. Still I like it. Rager. If you remember, like a week ago, I did a video saying, no matter what happens in this draft, the Eagles have to come out with well, I think I said two of these four wide receivers, but at least one of the four they had to get, uh, and that was Denzel Mims, Henry Ruggs, Brandon Ayuk, or Jalen Rager. So they get they get Jalen Rager. They got it right, and I I'm actually happy with this pick. I like this pick. I grade this pick a B plus. Okay, and the reason I give it a B plus and not more is because the one thing I didn't like about this 
first round pick. Okay, and the one thing that I have to complain about is I think that the Eagles, taking Jalen Rager is not a problem. But to me, the way they went about drafting Jalen Rager was. So what I mean by that is you had an opportunity. All right, we, we, we can leave it there. Here's what we know. Here's what we know. The Eagles suck at drafting wide receivers. They suck. And Philly 500 to say, oh, man, Denzel, I would have rather had Denzel Mims. You mean the Jet wide receiver who in uh, so far has 490 yards total? And no TDs, and you wanted Rhaegar. Okay, so doesn't look like you quite know what you're thinking about. You did. You were right about CD. You were right about CD. But remember, you didn't want Justin Jefferson because he's ass. So that's where we are with uh, the Eagles. Maybe, maybe trade Rhaegar, which means maybe they try and draft one of these receivers again. So when people ask me, am I scared of the Eagles having all these draft picks? Not really, because they suck at drafting. The one thing you can say the Cowboys are really good at is actually drafting. I'm Mark Holmes, and, well, we're going to end this video right here. <laughs> oh, big run. Oh, he fumbled. Oh, he fumbled. Shit. Oh, he fumbled. Oh, uh, uh, now you're about to lose his mind. He hasn't seen the play yet. He hasn't seen the play yet. Show me something like that. <laughs>